This video is sponsored by Raycon. More on that at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you calling me out for a game, you better be ready. I'm bringing the pain. T D P A R R E T T. I'm the goat and I'm going insane. Yeah. If I use the Titans, it don't even matter. Cause I'll beat you anyway. That boy sent a message. He said I was trash. Man, I blow him out any day. What's going on, guys? And are you Narte? Today we have a really fun idea. Honestly, I think you guys are gonna love it. This is kind of road to top 100. So kill the like button because I know you guys love that. Can we hit? 10,000 likes on this video. I think that we can. I love you guys. Essentially, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna spin the wheel. I'm gonna spin the wheel as we speak right now. Whatever team this lands on, but bam, it is the lost, the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're gonna be using the Jacksonville Jaguars play, but we're gonna go build a scheme together. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys all of my thought process as I build the scheme with the Jags playbook. I've never used that playbook. We're gonna play a couple online ranked game, practice with it, and then we're gonna play a super, super good player. It might be an MCS pro, it might be a number one rank guy. I don't 100% know at this point, uh, but we're gonna practice, we're gonna do our best, we're gonna pick a team. And I think what's great about this is I just wanna learn new playbooks. I wanna learn new things. I wanna learn new concepts. I just wanna become a better overall player. And I know that this is only gonna help me in the long run getting more comfortable in certain formations. So Jacksonville Jaguars playbook, kill the like button. Like I said, if you guys are gonna enjoy this, uh, let's go try and come up with a scheme out of this playbook. Okay, so the formation that looks most appealing to me is this trips tight end offset. Uh, and we're gonna start here. Like building a scheme sometimes can be a little bit random. You just gotta, it's best to just start somewhere and try and like find something along the way. But I do like a lot of the concepts. I think there's some good routes out of this. And I think anytime you're in trips, it's pretty good. I gotta find another audible. I'm thinking maybe this curl combo. I don't know if I'm gonna use it a ton. So number one thing when you pick a new formation, you always wanna see what it audibles to. Um, so this one, we can go to Y trips week. Can we go to any good single back stuff? Any good run? We can go to single back doubles, single back deuce. Okay, single back base. So out of this, okay, let's focus on this first. We have this bubble throw, um, which is a really, really good route. Um, if, if people get too confident, if you're inside zone, anytime you have a bubble in this year's game, it's good. We have the inside zone. Um, a great concept out of this that I'm gonna talk to you guys about right now. You, the best thing is here, you have a tight end of the line. You always want that tight end of the line. It's a lot more intriguing to me to use. So a great concept to run out of this is this right here. You're gonna put Humphreys on a hook, Davis on a 10 and out, and then Brown on this. Essentially, you're just reading these three routes. One of them is gonna get open that time it was Brown. A lot of times it's gonna be the hook. If they play man, it's most likely gonna be the hook. If they play like a cover four, it's gonna be this. So this is probably gonna be our kind of main concept out of this formation. It's gonna be this one right here. Like as you can see, boom, they're in that same coverage again. So we're gonna go and hit them with AJ Brown. I'm gonna run that one more time because I do wanna see something else and show you guys those other routes because the other routes do tend to get open as well. Um, PA crossers. Like I said, here there's a little bit different of a look. So there's a press look. This is man coverage, boom. If they play man, you're gonna throw that hitch. If they play cover four, you're gonna hit Corey Davis. You guys get the point. Okay, so this next concept, it's just kind of a zone beater. Essentially, you have Walker and Lewis. You're gonna, they're gonna run together. Um, what I would do out of this most likely is because you have so many people on a route. If you know you're not throwing a Humphreys, just motion them in here, put them on the end and block. Essentially, in this concept, you're window shopping. You're looking at the guy on the far right who's most likely playing like the lower zones and you're just reading off of him. Whoever he selects, you're gonna throw to the opposite guy. And if you don't feel comfortable with either of those guys, like right here, who did he select? Boom, you see how he took that step, that little half step to Lewis? It's gonna leave Delaney Walker wide open. You also have, um, and I'm not gonna motion him in this time, but you also have Brown on that route. Easy money, you're gonna be able to hit that all the time. Now the other thing that I'm gonna be doing out of this, now this is just the first formation we're gonna talk through. The other thing I'm gonna be doing out of this, a ton is hitch routes. Every, anytime they wanna just chill on Brown, I'm literally just gonna throw a hitch route. Any of these guys, hitch routes, hitch routes, hitch routes. If, if let's say Humphreys, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I might just move him to the other side, put him on a hitch route, snap him right here, look, and there's a good chance he's gonna be open for three yards. That's gonna be a big thing. That's it for this formation. Those are the only reads I'm really gonna do. Okay, so the next formation that I've decided that I'm gonna be using kind of as a base formation is this one. And it, it's great because you have Two receivers, two tight ends. The best part about this though, let me show you. Best part about this, you can go from this to the stretch. Just, did you see how quick that was? Anytime you're in like the shotgun, you wanna make sure that you have a way that you can go down and run. That's why I like about this. I can go from that to the stretch super, super fast. Now, the other thing is when you have someone here, you can kind of create anything that you want. Like you can motion him in here, um, do a little concept where they can either choose Davis 
or brown. Uh, one of them is going to get open. You can do so much and the stock plays are not great. So you're just going to have to use your kind of concepts to do it. Other things you can do, obviously, if they're giving you a cover four, you can look to brown, but that's not the greatest post route. Uh, something that you might like to do is motion him across and then you kind of have a deep post going over the middle. That way, if they're in some type of like crazy zone or something, you can do it and you can look for him. This is also just a very simple concept. You're just going to watch the corner. If the corner goes to him, boom, you're going to be able to hit Brown over the top. It, that, that's about as simple as it gets. You're not a lot of players are going to let you just throw that. Um, the other thing you can do is put Henry on a wheel and maybe Davis on a slant. And then you're just kind of going to kind of watch uh, between Brown and Henry. One of them might get open. Like you're, you're, it's kind of just like a high low read. It's not a super high percentage look by any means, but it's a high low read. It's something I'm going to start off with these. Like I said, I don't know. We're practicing. I'm learning new things. I'm trying new things. Let's go into a ranked match and let's see how we do. Okay, so here we're using the Packers. I'm gonna come out in this formation and just kind of see what he does. He looks like he's very pressed on um, on our dude, Devontae Adams. That probably means man coverage, which means you're probably going to get, okay, Aaron Rodgers. Dude, let's, let's see what we can do here. I, I, I feel like we're gonna get a man look. Got him, got him, let's go. Right in the middle of the zones. Like I said, you're gonna be able to hit that all the time. Let's slow things down and get back into the wing. So like I said, this is this is why you wanna have those formations that you can switch to so incredibly fast. Here, we kind of caught him in a look that I don't think he's super comfortable in. And there's a chance because there's so many linemen out there that we could have some good running room. Let's go, Aaron Jones. Okay, let's see what we got here. Be calm in the pocket and just deliver a dart to Allison. Yeah, got him, got him. Nice catch, scaling. Hooks all day long, fellas. Okay, so what's happened now is this guy has gotten really comfortable in this man press, um, which I respect. Man press is a really, really great coverage, um, but I just don't know if he should be as comfortable as he is. I'm gonna move Devante to get my read if it's man. Yeah, it is man, and then all I gotta do is do that. <laughs> what, Who, who's he using? Oh, too late, buddy. Too late, buddy, let's go. You're a little late. Okay, this dude's in gun spread Y slot. I feel like we can lock that up, but he's smart. He, when, you, when you're using the Eagles. Oh, good run. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Where's he at? Where's he at? 25. Okay, yo, he's a he's a yard short. This this is our opportunity. Blitz him like crazy. Blitz him like crazy, and we get you, when you blitz like crazy, you get burnt. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. No, Alexander. What kind of a greasy animation, Madden? Okay, so the only play that I could really see giving me as many yards as I want is that Devontae, because his route running is just so disgustingly good, something with him, but you know what? Yeah, I think we got him. Oh, I tried to hit freaking Graham. Did anyone else think that Graham had a step? He's killing clock on us, which I just find so annoying. So annoying. Okay, so we almost need a huge play, but we don't. But we also do, like, I'd love to hit that Devontae Adams streak. And I think I think we got it. Nice throw, Rodgers. Nice throw, Rodgers. There it is. Oh, what did I say? That post throw was going to get out. That's clean. That was clean. Okay, how do we stop this guy, though? That's, that's the million-dollar question. Alexander! Alexander! Go, buddy! Go, buddy! Go, buddy! Let's go, fellas! Oh, we're not losing today. I do not feel like losing today. He's killing clock right now. He's playing. He, he, he thinks that this last touchdown is his. Where, is that forward progress? I got zones on Jackson and man up on Jeffrey because I'm not as worried about Jeffrey. Ah, oh, but he knew. He knew I had man on Jeffrey. Come here, come here! We're out here, fellas! We are out here, let's go, man! The defense stepped up, the offense played great all game, and good night 
from Philadelphia. That's one win using the offense. We were pretty great on our first drive, had a really good throw on the, uh, the bad throw on the second drive, and then we ended up dotting him up to the to the exact guy who, Devontae Adams, I don't know why I can't speak. Okay, so if he is in cover two, he's trying to hide it with that corner. We'll, we're gonna be able to tell right about there if, if, if he's legit in cover two or if he's trying to hide it. Now, I realized that he was trying to hide it. He had his corner back, but he's still in a cover two, which means you can dot it up, fellas. I don't love um, I don't love doing hurry up offense personally. Good little run. Okay, that's gonna be annoying to stop, but I think I do have a defense for it. You gotta have a passing threat or else I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, he might have a passing threat. Just blitz him though, because he's got Dak Prescott in single back. He won't know how to maneuver the pocket well enough. And he did. Our defense, it's not even our off. The frustrating thing is it's not even our offense that's sucking. It's our defense that's getting so, that's just a, that's just a good play. I was not expecting him to throw to his fullback on a wheel route. Okay, drive number two. I'm not gonna switch out of this formation because I literally just had the easiest drive in the world with it. So why would I do anything other than what I am doing? Especially when he's gonna continue to give me that 10 out because he doesn't wanna play cover two now. So he's a little bit trapped on offense. And by a little bit trapped, I mean he is very trapped. Now I can try and switch things up, but why the heck would I in this situation? Now, now he's gonna think about it, he's gonna think about it. Oh, you forgot about him now. You gotta worry about Allison too. He's still playing as well. Okay, so it appears he is still in a cover two, which I just find completely shocking. But if that's what he wants to play in. Oh no, good, good route by Graham. Oh my God. Two people can hold him. Oh, and they good throw, Rogers. St. Brown completely just let us down. Okay, let's see if Devontae. I see this is a throw that I love to do. You can do a, a makeshift like kind of hook with him. Um, but I like motioning Devontae across, snapping it, and then just seeing if he's open right away, but he's not. We got Jimmy Graham instead. Good throw, Aaron. Good throw, Aaron. Let's, let's just run it here, Aaron Jones. Be slow. Be slow. Good job, Jones. Back to back drives, fellas. Easy money dissecting the defense. Touchdown. Watch out for all that stuff. Good dot. Good dot. Well, watching the running back because I know he likes to throw the right. So I'm going to watch the running back and blitz him like crazy. Get up there. Someone grab it, please. Good stop. That's our first stop. Okay, is he going to take his three? He's not taking his field. Okay, that hook curl. Good cover if he decides to try and run. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Go for that, Brody. Go for that, fellas! Scantling on that. He'll think that I'm trying to hit Scantling and he'll leave it open. But I think he's still in a cover too, which makes me think we might have Scantling, you guys, again. Are you crazy enough twice? Are you crazy enough to run cover two twice? If you are, enter at your own risk. Yep, ooh, we'll take it back. We'll take it back. We'll take it back and let's fly Green Bay. Dance on him a little bit. Okay, so at this point, I have Aaron Rodgers' ability, which I think is pretty sick, which pretty much means you're absolutely dotting someone up, like it's going out of style. <laughs> Whenever you can get these abilities, they're not the easiest things to get. Um, okay, so here I'm gonna look Williams to Adams. Essentially, one of them is gonna be open. Ah, uh, let's go Rodgers, let's go Aaron, let's go Aaron, fly. Third and long, I'm running some random stuff, bro. Some random stuff, but we're still dotting up. Jimmy Graham down to the two yard line, good stuff. Okay, one more touchdown, bud. Good throw, Rodgers. Okay, so this game ended, we were 80% for 364 and three touchdowns. I feel like I understand the trips um, side of it pretty well. Let's go play against, I don't know 100% which top player I'm gonna play against. I'm gonna go find one uh, and let's see how we do with it. Should have Devontae. I think we'll have Devontae. We can just get a little time. 
Let's go, fellas! Do a little little taunt real quick. If people want to run that 146 against it, I think I know how to block it. Even though that wasn't perfectly blocked, I stepped in the pocket. I knew what defense he was doing, and I threw it off. Oh, good. Oh, oh my god, I let it happen. I think if I move Lazard over right there, I think I think he'll block that in. Which means we can dot up. Oh, that's my only mistake. Here we go. Fourth down, Got him. Got him, coach. Let's go. You guys think? You guys think he's listening? He really wasn't. He really wasn't, which was a mistake, my friend. I don't know if he noticed, but I, I think I have Jimmy Graham open. So that's no, I do not. Be smart about things here. Like I said, this is not my normal life. This is a challenge. So I should be happy to be in this situation, but I definitely should have ran the ball more there. 100%. Plant. Rollout. Looking for this plant on the rollout. Looking for this plant on the rollout. Hello, user lurk. Okay, let's be smarter on offense. Let's just go score. Put an end to this. Okay, so usually against this, it would actually be a heck of a lot smarter. If I was actually giving good tips, it would be to switch to something like this. And then just throw the bubble because he's clearly not really playing it so that if, if you were playing it in like a super and i should have been doing this way earlier in the game but i'm trying to get cool passes you'd want to come out in something like this that has a little bit more blocking and then just now he's now he's forced to play it, so you, it, it actually doesn't matter at this point because he is forced now to play a different defense i'm gonna look for Devonte on this kind of note got him this might be a better formation this might just be a better formation and I think he's in cover two, Brody. I think he might just be in cover two. A nice little switch from that to the A slot. Snap it as he's running. We got numbers and Aaron Jones. Let's the edge. Let's the edge. Watch this stuff. Watch this stuff. Watch this stuff. Ooh, I apologize. I apologize. Okay, well, what, one more score and we're going to call this one a game. Good game to Jedi Warrior. Oh, you're still blitzing all your people. Okay, Jimmy Graham. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, we got to wait a little bit. Got to wait a little bit. Don him up. 24 points. Let's move on to our next opponent, which I figured out is going to be Joke. Uh, MCS champion. One of my buddies at EMB. I think he's like second or third in earnings this year. I'm, at, and I'm sure if you watch the MCS, you know who he is. We're gonna play against him running this random offense. Wish me luck, man. I'm just gonna put some pictures of Joke uh, and his MCF, MCS stuff on the screen right now. The guy is an absolute beast. Um, so I'm gonna lose and that's okay. That's the idea is that I'm gonna lose, but I'm gonna learn. Oh, good catch. How's that? There we go. Like, there we I go. Got you me. There we go. Scantling. Scantling routes everyone. I, just, man. I thought that was this. I thought that was this plan. Just leave in the bubble. It's like, go Aaron Jones. There we go. I I am getting started. <laughs> there we go. Allison. Ooh, don't push that way, Allison. Ah, uh, nope. Somebody go get that, man. Oh, throw that in bounds, a rod All right, I'll give you drive. Let's not go off sides. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. I tried to, tried to throw a couple hot dots. It's in the right outside cornerback. Interesting. Oh, I can't even spin. Throw some people off. But... Oh, get there, Williams. Good throw. Half. Get out of bounds. Ooh, someone get up. Metcalf, get up out of there. Metcalf. Ah. Okay. Oh, sorry, oh, joke. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a dot. Oh, that, that was, was a dot. dot. Hard to tell. Oh. Not rough. Nope. Just dots, man. You never want to lose the game in the first half, TD. If you, if you get sacked here, you could lose the game. That's it. Because you happens. didn't get three points. So you always want to take your points there. But I'm not running the palms anymore. Yeah, I seen that. Oh, you got caught on him again. We're rolling out. Oh, 
Oh! Get in there, Russ. Oh, we're in there now. Oh! Oh, let's go. Let's go, oh. Marshawn. That's how we pay you, Skittle. Oh, and he got in front of us. Oh! You want a mixtape? You're still blitzing him, but you're not blitzing this right out, that guy. Get in there. Yeah. There we go, Scantling! Got you, that man. Laser. Thank you. I tried moving over there because I figured I knew you'd always man up, Devonte. But I, I thought one time you might forget about Scantling. Overall, like it's not a playbook I would ever use again. But now, if I ever have like a trips formation, I feel like I have a decent idea how to use it. Yeah, you definitely got to run inside zone more too. Inside zone is really good against one four six now since the last patch. They like uh, patched it so the, the guy doesn't shoot it anymore. Okay, so that concludes it. Like I said, I played until I lost. It's almost a, like I said, it's a good thing to lose because Joke is such a good player, obviously a pro. Uh, but I went 13 for 17. I was pretty proud of my passing here. I threw some good dots. I threw some really, really good passes. And now I learned from playing Joke, okay, this is how people are going to play against it. This is how I got to block it. This is what I got to do. I feel like I got better today, which is the goal of every day. If you guys think I should do this again, make sure to drop a like. Go check out Joke on Twitter at Joke. Go cheer for him in the Madden Bowl. He is going to be in the Madden Bowl. Um, so go show him some love. And yeah, thank you guys. Okay, so first off, I just want to give a big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. As you guys see, I'm wearing the Raycons right now. I wear them on my runs in the morning. If you guys don't know, Raycon was co-founded by Rated. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg. JR Smith and many others are absolutely obsessed with them. One of the great things about Raycon is they start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands that you may know. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors. So this sounds interesting to you guys. You guys can use the link down below, buyraycon.com slash Barrett to get 15% off your order. Highly recommend them. I use them, like I said, every single morning. Uh, sometimes during the day, if I'm listening to audiobooks and stuff, I'll have them in. They're comfy, they don't fall out, and I just genuinely really, really like them. So thank you, Raycon, once again, for sponsoring the video.